Hey guys, Stu Hill here from Chem Digital. Um, today we're going to do a bit of a feature comparison between the websites that we develop here at Chem Digital and Realtor.com and Redfin. I'm going to start by diving into a Reddit board that I found um, that talks about the uh, best listing sites to use and they're comparing uh, Redfin, Realtor.com and Zillow and slash Trulia. Um, the, there's a lot of positive feedback about Redfin being kind of the best one um, uh, available. Redfin, you can set up multiple custom searches. Um, uh, Trulia, uh, Trulia and Zillow are data scrapers. Um, see, that's that's kind of an interesting. Um, that's kind of an interesting comment because Redfin receives their listings via IDX and Trulia and Zillow although Zillow is now transitioning to IDX, um, Trulia and Zillow, because they're not real estate companies, they, they do receive their listings through syndication. So it, that, that is pretty accurate. Um, I prefer Redfin, has a great user interface and uses Google uh, Maps and Street Views as opposed to Zillow. We also use Google Maps um, as, opposed to, uh, as opposed to Bing Maps like Zillow does. Uh, Redfin's excellent. The calculation tool gives you m a much more accurate monthly cost estimate. Okay, that would be the uh, mortgage calculator. So we'll take a look at that. Um, uh, find a buyer's agent to sign you up for the MLS. Um, certainly, if somebody does that, they could sign you up on your website. All of those sites are just syndicating the MLS. This, this that, that comment's not really accurate. Um, I like to use both Zillow and the MLS from my realtor. Um, on Zillow, I can easily save houses. You can save houses to your property organizer on our websites. Um, MLS shows room sizes um, and Zillow does not. That's um, that's interesting. That would depend on the MLS board. Um, a standard that's that's not a standard that's not a thing. However, um, if you have a if you have if you have something like that and it is or, or want something like the room sizes on your website, then you can get in touch with our data services team and they will be able to. And if your MLS offers it as a public field, we'll be able to map that for you. So so we can check that box off. Um, Zillow emails when homes uh, I had saved close. Yes, you can absolutely. I like this because it keeps. It helps me keep closer tabs on our neighbor on the target neighbor that we want to move to. So once again, you can do this. We have email updates um, and the map features. Yes, we have map search on our websites. Um, all of the sites is, sites are slower than the MLS. I mean, that's probably that's probably fairly accurate. The MLS provides a very very simple um, text listing display, and then when you click into pictures, they load this. What, all of these sites, they're going to be a little bit more intensive. Um, uh, you know, but this was three years ago, though. Um, things have things have speeded up quite a lot since then. Um, and we, we we rate very highly on speed. That's one of the metrics that we check. And as far as Google's algorithm for figuring out where they're going to rank your website, they do look at page speed. And that is one of the insights that we um, take notes and a, and a performance indicator that we that we track all the time. Um, so you know, we, we, are, we are looking to develop a fast website as well as a very nice looking one. Um, we look for houses on Zillow, Redfin, Truly about a year ago. Notice that we always miss the good ones. I didn't notice a difference between them. Our mortgage guy recommended Home Scout uh, uses MLS to, MLS listings, and I found it to be updated very quickly. So our sites update every fifteen minutes, um, which is as um, about as fast as you're going to want it to. Um, Again, this comes down to page speed, performance, etc., and importing those listings in um, into the website. Uh, it's interesting that um, uh, that some of the sites are outdated. So I think this is a branding um, play in that you want in any ads to make sure that we uh, you note that listings are updated every fifteen minutes, and we always put that in our Google ads. Um, so uh, you know, some really quite positive feedback. Um, on this board about um, about uh, Redfin, that it seems to be the most popular. So let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at Redfin's website. Okay, so we have um, here the homepage of Redfin, and one um, one thing I tell to every new prospect during a, uh, a, for a con consultation, free consultation, um, is that Realtor.com, Redfin, Trulia, Zillow. 
they're all lead generation portals that they, they, they would they, they sell leads to agents either in exchange for a referral fee slash percentage of the commission or um, or they just flat out sell the leads as part of a package, you know, monthly uh, search volume, etc. So, that, and they all look the same. You know, big picture in the back, search box in the middle. You can see that right here. Um, so, you know, buy, sell, rent. If you if you do that in your market. So let's start off. Um, this is an address I've started plugging in for Augustus Course. I preloaded the pages. Um, it's going to bring up the property address. So um, let's take a look at the features of the property detail page. So uh, pictures at the top, uh, as you scroll down, you're going to go into um, um, primary details, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage and price, um, property details. Um, and the actually they're not com this isn't compliant with our um, uh, with CRM LS's rule update, uh, but uh, this listing information, this is supposed to be at the top. So I'm sure that we'll see that move. Well, I'm sure they think they're big enough that they don't have to move it immediately, but I'm sure we'll see this move um, further up. There's another video um, I'll tag uh, on this topic if you are a CRMLS member. So, um, yeah, yeah, and then as you go down, you just go into the into the details, payment calculator. If you remember um, in the Redfin board, in, sorry, in the board, it was mentioned that they like the payment calculator. So, um, you know, nice property details page here. This is very similar to what we do on our uh, websites from Chem Digital. The um, so here we start um, address the uh, lead capture functionality on the right. Schedule schedule your tour. This can be customized, and this is actually a work. This website is a work in progress. So we've got a bit more to add to the sidebars and stuff here. Um, pictures as you scroll down. Um, bedrooms, bathrooms, square foot, condo about the property. Go into the details as you scroll down here. Um, the mortgage calculator, we got that too. Um, school information, uh, this is all pulled. Um, this is all pulled in live and um, uh, from great schools. Uh, walk score, what's around the place. So we have um, we've designed this property details page to be very similar in functionality to um, that of Redfin, if you can compare them side by side. So remember, these guys are the lead generation portals. They've spent hundreds of millions of dollars figuring out uh, the best way a real estate website needs to look and function in order to generate leads. These are the things that it needs on it. Um, we've replicated this so that you've got um, the exact same functionality on your website. What this enables you to do is do away with um, uh, with with your expenditure over at the portal sites, you're paying for their platform, etc. You can own your marketing um, system, your marketing platform by simply running the same ads that Redfin, Trulia, Zillow run against their um, uh, property searches, uh, and your net result is the same. So so as far so so as far as lead generation goes, you can probably cut with a website from Chem Digital. Um, um, your, your seller lead gen, your buyer lead gen, you can bring that all under one house. One of the big, you know, big issues that we, we deal with day in, day out is CRM data or just customer data being in multiple CRMs because every one of these little services that you sign up for, number one, there's a monthly fee. Number two, they've got their own closed loop CRM system where leads are dropping into this one, leads are dropping into that one, leads are dropping into a third one. And, and we do get clients that come and they say, well, we've got data in three, four, five, ten different places. Um, you know, step number one in automating your marketing um, and creating efficiencies there. Um, gentleman I spoke to on Friday who's working an 80 hour week, wants to get it down to a 40 hour week. Um, and a lot of that is, is, um, is automating the, uh, the processes and consolidating, um, consolidating and creating a process because by creating a process, you could create a consumer experience. So in, um, not to get too much off topic here, but um, uh, in lead generation, it's it's pure. It, it is a numbers game. I mean, you, you if you look at if you look at Z Zillow, um, probably have some of the lower numbers because they uh, they don't tell the um, they don't tell the buyer in a lot of cases who the who the 
agent is that's going to be calling them. Um, if somebody's on your website, uh, you know, John Smith Real Estate, and you get a call from John Smith uh, because you put your information in on his website, you're not terribly surprised about that. Another analogy that I use is, you know, CarMax. If you put uh, your info, if you're looking for a car, you put your details in on CarMax's website, you're not surprised if you get a call from Dan at CarMax. If you are on Auto Trader and you put your details in there, and you get a call from from uh, you know Dave over at a random dealership that that you weren't you were never on his website, um, you know you're like who are who are you Dave? So um, uh, there's there's some there's some um, uh, the, there's some efficiencies and and, and um, some benefits of, of bringing um, the your lead generation in house. Uh, both seller leads, we use a home valuation form for that. On the buyer lead side, again, we model Redfin truly a realtor.com. Um, I'll show you a realtor.com here. Um, uh, if I go to the homepage, uh, this is, uh, again, you'll see, uh, no, that one's the homepage. Um, okay, big picture in the back, search box in the middle. And then once you put your search criteria in, it takes you to the gallery of properties with some ads. Um, and then once you click on one of them, you you enter in here. So so again, very very similar. You've got the schedule of tour. You know, choose the date, um, the the value of the property, square foot, etc. Um, you know, and they've put these in. They've put these into tabs. Um, uh, uh, yeah, the, that might be handy. It's also just equally as easy to scroll down rather than using those um, uh, accordion. Uh, tabs as they're called. So yeah, again, comparing that to one of our listing pages here. Um, nice and simple. Um, if you have any questions about uh, lead generation or the development of a website, the costs involved, um, it probably is a lot less expensive than you think. Um, and uh, and there are, there's a, you know, owning your website platform, if you're going to build out a website, um, Another analogy that we use, uh, if, if you are renting a house, it makes no sense for you to go and renovate that property and expand it. Um, like you know, when you leave, when you leave at the lease ends, you're just walking away from it. Likewise, with your website, if you're in a lease platform situation, building out SEO or attempting SEO on those platforms, um, you know, that's time, that's expense, that's investment. And if, if you are going to invest in something, you should you should own it. Um, I'd invite you to schedule a free consultation with my team if you've got any questions. Um, if you're on our website, you can use the box right below me. If you are on YouTube or elsewhere, you can use uh, the link that's provided. Um, thank you for watching today and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon.